Welcome to the e-sessions on Integrated Marketing Communication for Semester 7 students of LJ Integrated MBA. I, Dr. Sushmita Sukala, in this session will be introducing the different modules that would be taken up for this course. Advertising and promotions has influenced people across the world in some or the other way. Organizations, both public and private, have realized the ability to communicate effectively and efficiently with their target audiences. Advertising and promotional messages, these are used to sell products and services, and at the same time, they promote causes. It also deals with the societal problems like alcohol, women empowerment, saving girl child, and many more such causes. Consumers are finding it difficult to avoid these marketers who are trying to communicate in various innovative ways. Advertising and promotions, this is a dynamic and a fascinating field to both the practice and for people who are studying the subject. However, this field is undergoing dramatic changes. The changes are coming from all sides. It could be the clients who are demanding better results from their advertising and promotional investments that they make, or it could be that uh, the ad agencies are getting leaner and more highly creative. Sales promotions and direct marketing firms, these are those interactive agencies which want a larger share of the billion, billion companies who are spending each year promoting their products and services. There are also a number of factors which are impacting the way marketers are communicating with consumers. The audiences that marketers seek along with the media and the methods reaching them, they have uh, become increasingly fragmented. So advertising and promotional efforts have become more regionalized and targeted to specific audiences. Retailers have become larger and more powerful, forcing marketers to shift money from advertising budgets to sales promotions. Marketers, they expect their promotions to generate immediate sales and are demanding more accountability from these ad agencies. The internet revolution is also picking up rapidly and the online audience is growing uh, rapidly in all countries. So the companies are coordinating their communication efforts in this varied tools and techniques which have been adopted to send across their message to the consumers. In this course, we aim to familiarize the students with the concepts and practices of marketing communications, give them a detailed understanding of various communication tools and its effectiveness in this contemporary times. And it would also bring out some ideas for effective marketing communications. This course on integrated marketing communication is divided into four modules. In the first module, there would be an introduction to integrated marketing communication, which is uh, properly popularly known as INC. So we would be understanding the meaning, the role of INC in the marketing process. We would understand the one voice communication against this integrated marketing communication. So we would be introducing some IMC tools, the role the advertising agencies are playing uh, towards delivering or providing these marketing services. And we would also be understanding the perspectives on consumer behavior. Module two, we'd be understanding the communication process. So here there would be emphasis on understanding the source message, the channel factors, and the communication response hierarchy, the AIDA model, hierarchy of effects model, innovation adoption model, innovation processing model, the standard learning hierarchy, attribution hierarchy, and the low involvement hierarchy. We would also be looking at consumer involvement. So here we would be doing the model on elaboration likelihood. So uh, in the end, we would be discussing the foot cone and building model. Module three, this would be about planning for the marketing communications, which is also known as Marco. Uh, so here it would be uh, establishing the objectives, the budgets, the promotional programs, so you would be setting out the various communication objectives. Uh, we would be discussing the Marcom objectives, Dagmar approach for setting these objectives. And finally, we would be discussing the budgeting and the factors which influence budget for Marcom. 
there would be a theoretical approach to budgeting uh, like your marginal analysis and sales. We would also be looking at the response curves and the methods through which the Marcom budget is determined. The module four, the last module, here we would be developing the integrated marketing communication program and how to measure its effectiveness. So this would be about planning and development of creatives of Marcom. Uh, having some creating strategies in advertising, sales, promotion, publicity, even sponsorship and the other tools. Uh, we would also be looking at the creative strategy which has been implemented and how it could be evolved yeah, or it could be evaluated. The types of appeals and the execution styles, the media planning and uh, selection decisions and the steps which are involved in information needed for media planning. We would also be measuring the effectiveness of all these promotional tools and ultimately the integrated marketing communication effectiveness. The books which would be used for understanding this subject better would be Belch, Belch and Purani. Uh, this is a book by Tata Magro Hill uh, named Advertising and Promotion and Integrated Marketing Communication Perspective. The second book that we would be referring to would be Batra, Myers and Akar, a Pearson publication named Advertising Management. Thank you.